Hello everyone, and welcome to Presentable Liberty. A game in which we find ourselves thrown into a jail cell with no explanation, and are mostly left alone with our own thoughts in the midst of a catastrophic pandemic. A premise so sci-fi and alien that I know none of us can relate to it on any level, but please try and bear with me. Now, a bunch of you have requested this, and I'm really intrigued. It sort of makes me wonder how I'll come to feel about the confines of this cell, and what any deviations from that might come to feel like. I mean, I've always thought the games, through their mechanics, can make you empathize with a perspective that you might not normally think about. And it seems like if this game does what I think it will, well, this will be one of those experiences. Even if not strictly a horror game, well, maybe scary in its own way. Now, if you have a look on the right over here, it says, Please help us fund improved versions of this game and its predecessor, Exoptable Money, on Kickstarter. I don't believe that Kickstarter is still active, however, you can wishlist it on Steam. Even though it feels wrong, I'm not going to go into the specifics of this game's history, specifically because YouTube has given me trouble for such things in the recent past. However, I do highly recommend you check it out, because that project is still in development. But let's start from the beginning. Day one. Now somehow even the font is oppressive. Oops, so here we are. Oh wow, you even you even put a clock on my wall where I can hear the ticking of the seconds. No sound except for that and the soundtrack, which sounds like the occasional slamming of bars in the distance. Uh, that looks like it would be like a door panel or some kind of, like, I don't know, instrument? But it's been torn out. Oh. A letter has been slid under the door. So I guess we will have some company in that way. My dear friend, I hope this letter finds you well. How is prison going for you? I know it must be hard, especially in times like these. As for me, I'll soon start another of my journeys into the unknown. Wish me luck, Salvador the Traveler. Oh, <laughs> friend, I hope you aren't feeling too lonely in that dark cell. Just in case, I've put a little bug friend for you in the envelope alongside this letter. Uh, hey, little bug friend. I don't seem able to crouch down to your level. Well, I hope I can't accidentally step on you. If you move around independently, I might not even notice. Oh, well, I, I can actually already see that being a big deal. I mean, if all of our other contact with the outside is going to be through these letters, and it's one of very few elements in here, it probably really does pay to have a living element within this cell. Good day. We are happy to inform you that you have been selected by me, Dr. Money, to join an exclusive program for inmates all over the country. Huh, I, I wonder, I wonder if this game might have capitalistic themes in it. We have noticed that due to the recent outbreak of a terrible virus, the population of our beautiful nation has started dwindling. This is unfortunate, but there is still hope for you. Recent studies show that 98% of our great nation's population is already infected with the virus. Incidentally, many of the remaining 2% are prison inmates like you. Huh, so you're saying that staying inside stops it from spreading, who'd have thought? We hope that you continue to be vigilant and remain healthy. In order to fight depression and suicidal thoughts in the dire situation you have found yourself in, you will be assigned your own personal happy buddy. Enjoy. Um, excuse me, I already have a personal happy buddy. Hello, hello, hello! I am your own personal happy buddy. <laughs> I love how there's even the trademarks on the name. I have a present for you. Five confetti poppers. Have fun. Oh, there's actually a whole UI. Press the mouse, right mouse button to use items. Hmm. 
Yay! <laughs> Look, we can just watch them slowly fall to the floor of the cell. Somehow that's even more entertainment than, uh, than popping it in the first place. Like, it reaching the ground gives me something to look forward to. Where's my little buddy? Now you're gonna be spending most of your time under the bed, aren't you? That's okay. Hello, my buddy friend buddy! Did you enjoy the confetti? If so, I have another present for you. It's a Dr. Money portable entertainment machine. Game included. Have lots of fun. <laughs> I love how, see, they're doing a cool thing where the paper that it's printed on and the actual fonts used are kind of communicating the voice of the character that's talking to us. In this case, we have that like sort of clinical Dr. Money letter and then we have, like, the Happy Buddy one that's, like, the same thing, just dressed up in a different way. My dear friend, see, with this, it's like parchment, all faded and stained. And it's written in sort of this more personal voice. I've started my journey in the Far East with no clear goal in mind. On the road, I met a nice woman who gave me directions to the nearest lake. You know how much I like swimming. Friend, this lake is beautiful. It's so peaceful and quiet here. Have you ever been so alone that you cannot convince yourself of the fact that other people exist anymore? Well, I'm starting to think that way. See, that's the cool thing, is that these, these letters are written with such, like, a warm tone. Even printed on such warm paper, if you can believe that, but... I don't know, it's just... I, I don't know whether to be happy that I'm getting this look at the outside world, or envious. Friend, I have a present for you. It's a painting that always reminds me of the spirit of travel. I hope it will liven up your cell a little bit. This is not that. Hey buddy, how are you doing? If you're feeling down, maybe a song will help. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read that. That's you you literally are so out of touch that you printed a song as text. That was fun, wasn't it? I hope you keep a song in your heart always. For you are smart and kind and important. Good day, Mr. Smiley. We have noticed that you have not met your happiness quota yet. Remember, you will only get to see your daughters again if you manage to lower the suicide rates in prison. Uh, if I don't talk about it, the game's gonna do it for me. So that's my job? Oh, I've just noticed it's gotten darker. Okay, hang on, let's just get through this. Okay, you're not gonna go away until I play some video games? Alright. Serpent. That's our one game. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this UI off the screen so I can actually, like, play this game the way it's meant to be played. Oh, I see. Ooh, that's actually surprisingly smooth. Alright, so it's like Snake with goals. Level 1 of 20. Oops. Did I just put it away? Uh, press space to go to bed. Okay, so I do have to sleep at night, day 2. What happens to the stuff I didn't pick up? Oh, it's still there. No, screw that. I'm I'm playing Snake. There we go. No, there we go. And you know I don't care enough to try beyond that. Uh, but there's our painting from Salvador. Uh, actually, besides the red light over there and the two wires hanging from the wall, it's kind of the only color in the room. Dear, hmm, we may have accidentally sent you a letter addressed to a certain Mr. Smiley, huh, so that's not my job, just letting me know that that is a job that's being done. We want you to know that this mistake has been rectified, and that your happy buddy really does like you and is your best friend, purely because you are so friendly. How are you doing? I'm feeling so great. You are my bestest, friendliest, happy friend in the whole wide world. I wonder if these aren't, like, AI-generated, or if they're not maybe having some poor sap write these. Actually, I guess that's basically what they all but told me. 
friend. If my calculations are correct, then this letter will arrive at your cell right around bedtime. I hope those prison beds are comfortable. Good night. Well, I guess it was slightly off. Then again, I did take longer. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I sure did. Hooray! Oh, little buddy. At least I decorated your floor a little bit. Here, you know what? Uh, have some more. There you go. In fact, uh, this corner as well. Uh, they're probably all I have. You know what? I'm going to save at least one for freedom. To celebrate the occasion of you getting up, I've sent you a second game for your portable entertainment product. Ooh. Alright, let's check that out. Fear of Fire. That's it? I literally just have to survive to the count of ten? Oh, well, at least I'm playing as my little buddy on the floor. Oh, we really should come up with a name. Eh. Well, you know, these games, uh... They're really only games in the barest sense possible, aren't they? Uh, which I suppose fits with the theme here. Alright, enough of this. Yep, you're hiding under your bed again. What can we see from looking through the bars? There is just a regular door over there. But right there seems to be against the wall, so we're at the end of the hallway. And there's something on top there too, something on the ceiling, but I can't quite make out what it is from here. We can't climb on our bed to see out the window. Howdy. Oh, look at you. Friend. I've decided to head north, which is, as you know, my favorite cardinal direction to head. On the way, I passed by a very interesting river. A sign next to it said that the water changes the direction it's flowing in around this time of year. Fascinating, wouldn't you say, friend? I must stay here and witness the change occurring. My curiosity is just too tremendous to resist the temptation. As much as I enjoy vast landscapes and new locations to explore, sometimes in life one must appreciate the little things. Sal. You know what? I'll call you Little Sal. Why not? I have another present for you. It's a poster to remind you to always keep a smile on your face. How horrifying is this going to be? You know, I was expecting creepy, but I wasn't expecting this. Oh, it even appears to be bloodstained. <laughs> Maybe from the artist you coerced into making this? Maybe for some extra glitter cannons? Oh, this is a new one. Good day. I don't think you know me, but from what I've heard, it seems that you and I are the last people in this town who are still not infected with the virus. I really have to wonder what the situation is here. I mean, since we don't know why we're here, I mean, maybe if it is like a hyper-capitalist world, maybe this is like some kind of debtor's prison, but I don't know. I'm the owner of a, of a pastry shop not far from where your cell is. But as I don't want to get infected, I can't sell my pastries to anyone anymore. Except you. I would really appreciate if you could come visit me sometime and maybe have a cup of tea? By the way, my name is Charlotte. Nice to meet you. My dearest companion, the river's change in direction was quite interesting to see. This is exactly what I love about my travels. You always get to see new and amazing things. And once more, I'm equal parts jealous and a little bit happy to hear that you're having fun. And who, the Charlotte who owns the pastry shop, well, she seems lovely. <laughs> Look, the gang's all here. We got my little bug, little Sal. We got Charlotte and Salvatore, even if it is only through the letters. And uh, this guy, who I guess we'll refer to as Mike seems right. Howdy, Mike. 
I'm very sorry if I came off as too eager in my last letters to you. Fact is, I haven't really had much contact with people anymore lately. Please forgive me if I made you feel uncomfortable. Well, oddly enough, my social life in here seems to be more active than my real life. Hello, hello, hello! I hope you're enjoying your two games. Uh, don't rub it in, I'm still pretty sad about the PS3. They were expensive, you know. Uh, for the first time in a long time, it's actually kind of quiet. This is sort of more like what I expected. Just listening to the ticking of the clock. Taking a lot of notice of every element of my cell. Plus what I've done to it, and... Just the high point of my day being watching this little guy move slightly. Please don't be sad. Starting to sound a little desperate, thus adding to the idea that uh, this is that Mr. Smiley. And apparently, all out of ideas. Then again, at a certain point, what more can you do about objective reality? Stuff like this, I suppose. You know, somehow it is really festive seeing a bug crawl amongst glitter. Don't you even think about going through that food hole? And then again, I've just realized we've been here for like almost a full two days and I've never actually seen any food come through here. I really hope I'm not going to have to eat little Sal at some point. I know it must be hard all alone in a prison cell, but you must remain happy. Please. Huh. You know, you came off as real insincere, but in that moment, you do kind of start to feel like another one of my friends. If not another one of my friends, then... Well, at least, like, we're in this together. It has come to our attention that your happy buddy has shown signs of not behaving in an excited and happy manner. If you wish to have your happy buddy replaced, please just send us a letter and we will get rid of him. Well, you see, I have no agency to do anything that I want to do except play video games, so, uh... As in real life, I will not be sending in an employee complaint. I've actually heard that that's true. Like, if, if you have to, like, review, like, an Uber driver or, like, an Amazon uh, delivery person... Like, they actually get in trouble if you give anything less than five stars. At least that's what I've heard. Hello, haha, uh, hello. I heard that some people are reporting their happy buddies to Dr. Money. Yeah, well, don't... don't look at me. What kind of person put in this situation would not be 100% like... part of this? Like, how would you actually complain about the conditions brought on you by other workers. You know what happens to them, right? Do you? You wouldn't do that to me, would you? Like, you would have to recognize what this is. I'm sorry I haven't gotten you another game yet. I just don't have the money for it at the moment. You're paying for this out of your own pocket. You know what? I'm not... I'm not... N no offense, but I'm not playing them anyway. I'm far more fun with this little bug. If you could send more bugs, if you could just leave the front door open. If you could come in here and break the clock, that would be fine, because it's not like the actual hour even matters. I'm so sorry. Please don't... This is going to be one of those. This is going to be another one of those, like, Thomas Was Alone type games where it's like, y you make... Where basically, you extract the most empathy out of the least possible elements. So very sorry. You waited a long time to send that. 
this game is managing to give a voice to something that has no voice. I mean, to the point where it's in the font, it's in the paper, but it's also in the length of time between receiving these letters. There's a real sense of, like, if only I were outside this cell, maybe I could do something to help them. It, it's really weird where, like, I almost feel responsible for those in a much better position than I. Or at least presumably. Friend. Uh, is your bug friend keeping you company? Yes. Have you given him a name? Oh, and you would like that name. You should. Do you remember how he used to sit by the fireside, carving chess pieces out of wood without a care in the world? That was a long time ago. So it wasn't always like this. My wood carving skills have gotten significantly worse. But I still tried to make you something to make you feel less lonely. It's the leg of a table I'm making for you. I know that might not be the most extravagant project, but... I hope you like it anyways. I will. I don't know how you got that in here, but... Well, I do appreciate having, if nothing else, some color in the environment. To be honest, I'm surprised they let it in here. It's a nice evening, isn't it? I hope you have a nice sleep. Honestly, it is sort of relaxing when the lights dim. I mean, I can just imagine the cool sheets. Then huh. again, the glow from that red light across the hallway. I can imagine it would keep me awake at night. Like I'd have to roll over onto my side and close my eyes. Oh look, there's a little bit of a white glow coming from little Sal. I can see you, even in the dark. Day three. And yet it already feels like I've been recording for weeks. Morning, morning, morning. I have some very good news for you. And that news is? You know, maybe if you used a smaller font. I got you a new game with the last of my money. This one's a real blast. Have fun. Okay, I suppose we'll try it out. Piteous Moonlight. Uh, I can't seem to, I can't seem to move. Okay, there we go. Oop. Oh, we have to keep ourselves up and try and grab the, well, I'll tell you what, this one is actually much more of a game. This is actually, uh, well, it's frustrating for sure, but it is actually... I can see myself playing this to pass time. Oh no. But they get so difficult so quickly. 3 out of 20? Uh, I know I have more letters, but I really feel like I should be making the most of this. Now I almost feel guilted into playing this. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna get this one. I'm just gonna beat this level. There we go. Yes, yeah, screw that. <laughs> well, I'm sure glad knowing somebody spent their life savings on this. This is honestly, I don't know how you guys feel about this. I actually like sort of hate receiving gifts in real life because it's like, okay, well you just spent all that money on me and like I would have been satisfied with saying hi. Like, <laughs> don't worry about me spending all my money. I'm okay. No, you're not. Just stay happy for me. For the love of all that is holy, stay happy they're watching. I wish I could send, like, a letter just, like, with glowing praise. I feel so bad for this person I've never met, never seen. Way to make me feel just an unbearable amount of guilt through, like, what amounts to a few lines of text. And I'm the one sitting in a jail cell. The world has become such a quiet place. Yeah, that's another thing to consider. Like, even for all of it, we're one of the fortunate ones. And I guess, well, it goes back to what I was saying before, the title, Presentable Liberty. I guess it's about making you consider what liberty actually means. 
are we actually able to sit quietly in here and be content with this, knowing we have everything we need and nothing we want? Or be able to go out there, have a much larger world, but one that's so much more hostile? So many people are dying. I watch them choke to death through my pastry shop's window. Dr. Money has started selling some kind of antidote, but I don't trust him. I will not leave my shop. As much as the loneliness pains me, I need to remain here. It's all just so one-sided. Even if there were to be some kind of back and forth, it wouldn't be so, so bad. But even then, there's those large gaps of time where we're just waiting for something new to arrive. Every second wears on you. I mean, look, I've been recording 27 minutes. It feels like so much longer than that. How are you doing? I've been busy carving the second leg for your table. May you eventually put a tabletop on it. I'm starting to feel a little homesick. Perhaps it's time to end my journey? You know, when we consider this actually, because it seems like you're traveling to like far away distant lands, but when you consider that it's been about three days, well, maybe you're not going all that far. Then again, I suppose the implication is that you're mostly on foot. But little Sal is doing well. Uh, and actually, through... That's crazy. Through the pieces of the table being delivered, like the Happy Meal Inspector gadget, it's actually kind of given us something to look forward to. But in this bare world, it's actually like... So, something as simple as having a table in our room feels almost like the long-term goal of like saving up for a house or something. There have been incidents of people getting upset about how the games for a Dr. Money portable entertainment product are. I don't think I read any part of that correctly. Hang on, that I, I skimmed over that and it wasn't until I put it away that I realized, like, wait, that doesn't... I, like, I didn't even really look at the paper. I might be going insane already. Or maybe I'm just tired. It's like, what, 2.30 in the morning? But then again, maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's the insanity of naming a bug, of saving my glitter poppers. Maybe this doesn't even have a face on it. Maybe Mike was never real to begin with. Maybe only the blood is real, and I'm just seeing what I want to see in the stains. Please do remember. It's not about those games. It's about happiness. Okay. Although, I, personally, Fear of Fire is my favorite if I'm not able to go back in any of the levels. Then again, a thought has just occurred to me. Hang on, no! Okay, well, never mind. Uh, my fears were immediately assuaged. For, for a moment, I was just overcome with the paranoid fear that dying in that game would actually cause something horrible to happen to little Sal. I found this poster in my attic. I thought it might cheer you up. Then again, it's not very cheerful. Maybe you want it anyway, though? It only has to be more cheerful than Mike. You know, somehow it does feel just a little bit more authentic. It's not cheerful, but it's, you know, it reminds me of you. The, uh... The landscapes of the Traveler, the Lonely Heart. It suits you. Dr. Money is taking time off his busy schedule to personally tell you that everything is fine. <laughs> so personal, it's a printed card without even bothering to write my name. She said you're selling a cure, but I have to wonder how well that's actually going. I mean, for you to actually feel the need to tell me that everything is fine, 
Well, maybe it's going even worse than you want it to. Did you get the doctor's message? Ah, so that message went out even to people outside of the prison. I'm increasingly concerned by the way he's ignoring the people's obvious suffering. The antidote he was talking about is only being sold at a ludicrous price. He does not mean well. Hmm. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> the gang's all here. Little Sal, Mike, Lonely Heart, Weary Traveler, and Glitter, of course. All the glitter you can eat. How many of these things... Wait, how many of these things do I still have left? Two? Yeah, I'm going to continue saving one. One for when I get out, and one for, I suppose, when it's funny. Friend, the third leg of the table is finished. Huzzah! I have also started my long journey back to my hometown. Are you coming here? I would say I'll probably arrive around tomorrow morning. Looking forward to seeing some familiar faces. Well, uh, I hope you do, but it sounds like that might be a tall order. Unless you know Charlotte and you're content to look at her from outside the window. Oh no, I actually... Mm. She's not the only one left. She's just the only one that's not sick. Actually, I wish I could write back and tell him not to come. As much as I'm sure that would break his heart, I... He's putting himself in danger by coming back here. The doctor has lowered the price of the antidote. However, it seems to cause various vital organs to fail. People are now not only dying from the virus but also from the doctor's cure. I am terrified. Yeah, I imagine regulatory capture, if regulations were ever a thing here, is in full effect. This thing was not tested, simply sold. Now, last time I noticed that uh, the letter arrived on the hour. Is that going to be what happens again? There we are. Look at me, just anxiously staring at the clock, awaiting the moment when letters arrive. Most of my cakes have gone bad. I just hope all this is over soon. I'm not sure how long I can live all alone. I wish I could come visit you. I wish too. I kind of wish, honestly, that we were both together at that pastry shop of yours. We could just ride this thing out together. I don't wish you were here for obvious reasons. And if Salvador isn't infected, hey, maybe he could come too. Actually, if he's meeting people on his travels, well, maybe it's not a global pandemic. Maybe it's just around here. Maybe Salvador doesn't even know. I hope you're getting these letters. I'm guessing you just can't respond. Do letters still get delivered in times like these? I hope so. Are you even still alive? Oh, uh, you're, you're now adding that element where I just wish I could say hi. And I know that would mean the world to you, and I'm like screaming it through the void, but it's just not reaching you. Friend, this one gave me some problems, but your fourth table leg is all done now. The last part will be there shortly. Salvador, the master woodworker. Huh. Well, I suppose pretty soon there will be more surface area for little Sal to crawl on. <laughs> But I don't know whether to be happy that I'll have my own table, or sad that there'll be less space to walk around. My world is actually about to get a little bit smaller. Are you okay? Apparently, more and more inmates are killing themselves. 
Please don't do that. For your sake and mine. Well, I got something to look forward to. This table is nearing completion. But also, I'm mostly sticking around for you, to be honest. And little Sal and Charlotte. And all the people I want to talk to once I get out of here. Including this Dr. Money. My dear friend. My goodnight present to you will be the tabletop. Now you finally have something to put stuff on in your cell. I hope you actually have stuff to put on it. Well, I can lay this Game Boy down, I suppose. And the uh, little Sal can have his own bed, although he does seem to like it under mine. A good place to hide away from the bright light of that uh, red light. I don't know, man. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Day four. Uh, my throat is so dry and scratchy already. It's like even my own body wants to simulate that I've been doing this for a long time, even though it's barely been half an hour. Friend, my journey has come to an end. As you know, I do not have a family to come home to, but that's not what matters to me. I'm just looking forward to the smell of my hometown. You may find it doesn't smell like you remember. Uh, and something I've just realized that makes this even worse. If we're old friends, I mean... Presumably my character has a heart for these things as well. For travel, for the open air, for meeting new people. This could be the worst thing for me. Where is everyone? Please just turn back. Like, I, I can wait. I can wait, so please, please just turn back. Please move. Okay, I saw a little bit of, like, red glitter clipping through you, and I thought, like, did I accidentally step on you? Do insects have red blood? Or you might be an arachnid. I can't tell if you're supposed to be, like, a beetle or a spider. Morning. I sold my house and my food and one of my lungs, but don't worry. I spent the money on another game for you. Yay, have fun, be happy. Just think. Whatever they're going to do to you is worse than removing a lung. Triangle Wars. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um... Okay, I won. I also hopped straight out of the game. Did you see that? This thing might be my ticket out of here, actually. Um, I can't... Okay, there we go. I can at least leave. What happens if I... No, no, no. I'm fascinated by this. What happens if I start again? Oh, we start back at the beginning. <laughs> Alright, no. This is... You actually sent me a haunted game, so that's kind of crazy. Also, why is that sound when I complete a level? Why is that so weirdly familiar to me? Yeah, no, we can just straight up jump straight out of the top of the game. That's actually unbelievable. I think the depths of my insanity actually know no bounds. This might have been worth one of your lungs. Did you make, like, a deal with the Elder Gods or something to make this wish a reality? A game that, even though its mechanics are very basic, will fascinate me with its very existence? Because I have to say, if I wasn't waiting on mail, I would be playing this constantly. These streets used to be so lively. Now they're just silent. I have this old gramophone in my basement. Perhaps it's time to break the silence? Will we be able to hear it? I mean, how close are you? Maybe on the hour we'll be able to hear something. Like, one of the first real signs that there really is somebody out there. Oh, there is also the potential reality that we're just being lied to. That all these notes are... Like, all these notes are just meant to tide us over for something? Do you know what's going on out here? 
the virus, the organs, the blood. Are a lot of people selling their blood and organs? I can just imagine them all falling over themselves for the cure. Originally offered at an unaffordable price. Demonstrating, like, that they're completely out of touch with what the average person goes through. And then lowering it, only to find that they can only afford it if they literally sell themselves. Mistakes are made. I, Dr. Money, want to personally apologize for any inconveniences that might have arisen from the virus of our creation. Please accept this framed picture of Money as consolation. Money survives all hardship. I honestly, this does not deserve to join the gang. People are dying. Their organs are failing because of the antidote for the virus. And everyone is infected. I wonder if I am too. <sighs> Somehow, even as we fully decorate our cell, it's just getting bleaker and bleaker. Over time, I was even happy to have Mike, but now... Well, it just feels like I'm being intruded on by this thing. Even the apologies feel like a middle finger. There seems to be a huge market for working organs now. Dr. Money has a big supply, and everyone is rushing to the stores and spending all of it. But those organs are not what they seem. So he's basically... Oh, I, well, I was going to say he's buying their organs and then selling them back to people, essentially. But if they're not what they seem, well... Maybe they're actually being grown here. Maybe the cure actually does cure the virus, but kills your organs, and then he's happy to sell you the solution to that, too. But, of course, there's another problem, demanding another solution to be sold. Anyone who uses the doctor's organs dies a couple of hours later. Where do they come from? What are they? Does it even matter anymore? Are you infected too, friend? I... I don't think so, but all these people from outside keep sending me letters. And they just straight up admit it was of their creation? Why? For them to admit it, from the character that's been established of this Dr. Money... I think for them to admit it, it has to be something that they originally presented as a solution to something. You really are out there. And even though the howls of the jail itself don't subside, well, they're actually temporarily drowned out by the first real joyous thing we've actually encountered in some time. How much of the outside world can you hear in your cell? How high are you even up? I guess I can't know. Just listen closely. Honestly, if I had heard that on the street in real life, I wouldn't think twice about it, but... In here, after all that, knowing what's going on out there, it really was beautiful. I'm just imagining it playing from the one glowing light on the street. And maybe it gave some of the infected some joy as well. Could you hear it from up there? I turned it up extra loud for you. There's no better times than these for a little music. And yes, I feel lonely. Of course, I could play the music again, but is it worth it? It'll never be the same magical moment again. Uh, well, it'll be a magical moment. That one moment in between all the dreary ones. This can't go on forever. You're right. We need Tiger King now. But 
yeah, that's the thing, is like, you know, in the beginning it seems somewhat bearable. Just gonna pass the time, talk to some friends, play some games. But after a while you start to wonder, just how long is this gonna go on for? And that's the thing about not having freedom. It's not, it's not how bad the actual situation is. Objectively, we are fine and nothing more than fine. But it's the thought that humans have of, can I do this forever? Do I want it to always be this way? I don't even know how many people are dead. I'm afraid to look. I can only see what's outside my window. And I see nothing but blood. I think I'm alone. You see nothing but blood? Just how bad is this? Where there's like blood running in the streets. Everyone is dead. The city's lights are going out. Please don't let this be heading where I think it is. The town has no electricity anymore. The only lights I see are coming from the prison. Which, from what I understand now, is a tall tower. One more day. One more day until what? Does that mean Salvador is dead too? I mean, if you haven't encountered him... Well, at least little Sal lives on. And he seems to have found shelter amid the table. Tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening what? Until then, you must come here. I can't! Charlotte, you know I can't! I will wait here. She... She can't take another disappointment. She can't take another disappointment, and she's waiting on the miracle that I can't provide. If you can't make it, well... I fear this world has no place for me anymore. Come on. I'm awaiting your arrival. Until then, here's a cake I made for you. I wish I could share it with you. I hope you like it. I did like it. I did. And I think, uh, I think this calls for confetti. I said I was going to save it for a funny moment, but I'm not laughing. Did you hear that wonderful music? I tried to head in its direction, but it was over too quickly. I'm so tired. You are moments- if she had played it again, if she had played it again, she would have a companion. And we're just helplessly screaming into the void from this cell. Getting echoes of the world around us, but unable to influence it. I'll just go to sleep in some empty apartment around here. God knows there are enough of those now. I need to see you again, friend. You're probably still in that cell all alone. Tomorrow I'll come visit you, but first, let us rest, friend. I'd be excited, but I just can't imagine that going well. Buddy, are you playing all your games? Are you happy? I'm happy, but tired. Sleep, buddy. Sleep. Tomorrow it will all end. What is Salvador walking into? Why are you still employed? Literally everyone in the city is dead. It's just the prison. We're the only ones being kept alive, but why? 
day five. And honestly, I'm equal parts nervous and... Well, honestly, I just want to see where this goes. I want to see what you mean, because... Any ending is better than continuing, right? Goody goody morning. Are you good? All fine? I don't care. And finally, we've got some honesty. I am not your friend. I was never your friend. Dr. Money was blackmailing me. He kidnapped my daughters. He told me they were safe. He told me they would be okay as long as I kept you happy. But he lied. My daughters are dead. They died from the virus two days ago. I never even got to say goodbye. But to you, I will. You cannot lose hope as I have. I have another game for you. I don't have the money for such expenses, but there's a huge market for organs now. Oh no. We could have done something together. I've already sold one of my lungs yesterday. And now I'll finish what I started. I signed for them to take all of my organs. Money up front. I will not survive the procedure, of course. But that's not important. You are one of the only ones left who are still healthy. Please don't lose hope. I hope you enjoy the game. In a meta sense, it's almost like you're giving me presentable liberty. Well, actually, I suppose you could say that in-universe as well. I doubt it, because it isn't fun. Like, seriously, not at all. I hope you keep going anyway. Always keep going, and don't give up like me. You never know how much more time you have. Once again, in context, this... I suppose now you want me to try it, since you just brought up the menu? Crankmaster. Uh... I'm not sure I understand. Oh, I see. We just keep it going, just keep moving between W, A, S, and D. Know when the right time to switch keys is. And the bar winds down. And that's all we do is just toil away. And if we press the wrong button at the wrong time, it changes direction. But we don't have time for this. Goodbye. It has come to our attention that our ha that your happy buddy has stopped talking to you. We would like to remind you that you are loved and that you must remain happy. We're going to lose all these people even before we get out of here, aren't we? Sal, I see your legs poking out from under the bed, running to hide as soon as I spot you. You are worth every penny. I think I just figured out what we're doing here. You're keeping all the healthy people locked up in these cells so that they'll remain unexposed to the virus. And then you can take their organs when the time is right. But look at you, even when the situation has changed beyond the point where that's even remotely useful, here you still are clinging to that plan, utterly unable to adjust. And when you do, it's just such a minor correction that totally fails to consider the actual reality of what's going on out there. Tick. Talk. Tick. Talk. Tick. Ah, oh, that is going to be so useful for syncing the audio later. This town is dead. There's no life left in it. I'm walking through these streets all alone. 
I'm on my way. We haven't heard from Charlotte. I'm just passing time now. You know, it's weird. When I look at these things now, it's almost like everyone's in the room with me. Even those who are unwelcome. Even those who, through ending friendship, I came to see more as a friend. And the common theme before all of them is that I just wish they had all held on. Well, I suppose Salvador is still with us, but I imagine, given the themes, that's going to go a similar way. I think I'm close to your prison. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. You being in this cell all that time. You must still be alive, right? And here I am, hanging on every word, just waiting for the hour when you'll send another letter. I almost wish you'd stop spending time writing and start spending time getting over here. I do wonder what was once on this wall. You know, funny how our two closest friends, well, one of them bright and vibrant and the other totally black and white, yet the contrast is notable. In fact, contrast is almost a theme in this image. And yet, they're considered two sides of the same coin, not opposites. I might be writing to a dead man now. That thought is kind of scary. I won't give up, though. A little virus won't kill you now, will it? Well, not me, but seemingly everyone else. Uh, in the meantime, uh, why don't we pass the time with some video games? Oh, look, it even saves our progress. Must be a little battery in the cartridge. Technology, oh, wonders will never cease. We did it! Oh, but it takes longer and longer with each one. There's literally not enough time in the game unless you build up a huge backlog to actually complete all these games. Although I imagine they're also impossible. Listen, we have noticed that you're being contacted by someone with a measurably free spirit. We would like you to ignore all of his letters from now on. That's really weird that you have the level of control to throw me in a cell, but not the level of control to actually control what I'm getting. Like, for example, I was getting all these gifts in the mail. I was getting all these dialogue that is openly critical of you. And yet, you could only ever respond after the fact. It makes me wonder what the systems are actually like outside of this cell. I mean, it seems like you're only operating as a business. Not actually directly controlling people's lives for the most part, just sort of... selling them what they need. And in being the only store in town, well... I guess in that way you sort of are the government without being the government. If you're people's only choice, well, what else can they do? You are being taken care of. You are being protected from the virus and the horrors of the outside world. Do not forget, you are a prisoner. I am looking to forget that in a very violent fashion the second this door opens. I just wish I could have had Dr. Smiley's help in doing so. Now, I don't know if the previous game, Exoptable Money, actually had anything to do with this current story. I mean, I believe I've read that it was a prequel, or at least is set in this universe. Fifteen more minutes. You know, I'm starting to wonder why I don't just send little Sal out to, I don't know, push a button or something? And maybe, maybe previous games have gotten me too used to such solutions. I think I can see your prison from here. Maybe one or two hours now. I can't wait. And once I'm there, I'll release you from your prison. 
just be careful. This friend of yours, Salvador, he cannot be here. I do not appreciate the way he talks. I do not appreciate the way he's talking about freedom to you. You don't even bother to hide it. But interestingly enough, these are actually addressed specifically to us now. It's not just the, you know, copy-paste notes that we've been getting up until now. This is no joke. Cease all contact with a Salvador. I won't, but I'm surprised you can't stop me. Friend, I've arrived. You made great time. You said one or two hours. It's been like ten minutes. Where's your cell? Where are these letters being sent to? I cannot seem to even enter the building. All the doors are locked. Then how did this get in here? I broke in. Oh, okay. But the elevator won't come, and there are no stairs. It seems that I have no way of getting to however high you are. There must be a way. It's getting late, friend. Maybe I don't have to go up there. Maybe... Maybe you could come down here. Well, that's a tall order. You know, this building you're in was never supposed to be a prison. There are no cells on the bottom floor. And looking at the plans, there are no cells here anywhere. Dr. Money must have repurposed the building for locking you up. But why would he do that? And it seems so arbitrary. But no matter. What matters is that the lock on your cell door is powered by electricity. Which means that if I manage to destroy the prison's generator, you will be free to leave, friend. Um, okay, but please don't use the squirrel method. Ah, we got another one from Charlotte! Are you coming? Please tell me that you'll come. I am coming! Please, come on! Ugh. We're gonna be just too late, right? Right? Like, given the tone of the game? I'm so lonely. If I could just do something as simple as acknowledge that I'm here. If I could just tell her what I already know, that would be enough. I'm sorry, friend. Mm. And that's the thing. If I could just tell them... This game actually made me angry. How long have I been recording? One hour, four minutes. One hour, four minutes. Way to get me really, really invested with faces I haven't even seen. And it's getting late. And then there was one, and probably not even that for much longer. I found the generator, friend. I only need to destroy this and you'll be free. Come find me at the entrance. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand once more. It's getting dark. Well, whatever you did, you did it. Uh, hey, little Sal, can you, can I pick you up? Oh. Great. The last person I wanted to hear from. Your friend tried to destroy the generator. That didn't really work out too well for him, did it? He got electrocuted. He did the squirrel method. Your friend is dead. They all are. Now your cell door may be open. What do you think leaving will accomplish? This town is dead, and you and I are the last ones here. The backup generator only has energy for those red lights, so the door is unlocked now. Just stay in your cell. I'll send someone to fix the generator for you. You'll be able to keep playing games on your portable entertainment product without a care in the world. Well, see, the thing is, you've left me without a care in the world. Well, not entirely. 
I still care about you. I still care about you a whole lot, and now there's nothing standing between us. You sent it in that letter, or at least it had that model. I will even tell you why you're here. I mean, I saw it had the, it had the Salvador letter type. You'll never know that if you leave. You'll be allowed to do whatever you wish to. On one condition. Do not open that door. Well, you know what? At this point... Alright, uh, Lil Sal, you gotta make a decision right now. Come on. Did I get you? Yeah, at this point, it doesn't matter if I know. If I never get the results of knowing. I have so much more to gain by coming for you. Lil Sal, did I pick you up or are you coming still? I really wouldn't like to leave you. Look at you, just chilling under the bed. <laughs> And you're probably happy to have the whole place to yourself. And in a way, well, I suppose it's like the whole gang really is here. I'll try to make sure that this one is more of a memory than the others. Let's just start trying doors. Yeah, only mine was a cell door. Am I unique in some way? Uh, a button. Wait. Wait, that looks like an up and down button, but it connects to the... Was I in the elevator? My cell was a repurposed elevator, wasn't it? <laughs> the clock isn't even ticking anymore. That's quite a twist, I must say. Well, bravo! I truly was not expecting that. Oh no, maybe I could have pressed up. Could I have gone up and taken it straight to the man upstairs? Well, it looks like you and me are going on a little bit more of an adventure while we're at it. Wow, this place must be impossibly tall. As if I care about the outcome at this point. That's much taller than even I could have imagined. Goodbye, all. Also, I'm pretty sure my stomach is in my throat, but we'll worry about that later. Huh. For the first time ever... At least the feeling of wide, wide open space. And I bet that must be the bakery, but... Well, we already know what we'll find in there. Oh, we can't actually open the door. And there's a single candle burning. I don't really want to walk around the corner. <laughs> Can we eat the final cake? I really didn't want this to be my first glimpse of an actual person.
To my only friend, when you're reading this, I will already be dead. You didn't have to be. My shop will probably look quite messy. I've decided that I'll go to the back room to die so you don't have to look at my corpse. I'm sorry I couldn't be more patient in waiting for you. But that doesn't matter now. It does. It really, really does. What matters is that you're here. Against all odds, you managed to escape the prison. I'm aware that this may seem like a bad ending to this story, but you're here. You're here. And I baked another cake for you. I'm not sure how fresh it will be when you find this. And for all I know, you never will. But I hope you enjoy it anyway. I wish you the best of luck. Charlotte. She never... Look at it from her perspective. She never even knew that we were reading this stuff. All she needed to do was hold on for a few more hours. All Salvador had to do was look for some other solution the next morning. But I guess that's the theme of this game is like if everyone had waited just a little bit longer. Because all these solutions were just around the corner. This situation, for as horrible as it was, there was... There was something coming. But what of little Sal? <laughs> well, I guess the meek shall inherit the earth. And now these rows of empty buildings now essentially being the gravestones of humanity. At least in this area, there is some form of hope that we are a traveler, we were speaking to a traveler, and there is more out there. Uh, that truly was... It's one of those games, like I speculated in the beginning, that is meant to be an experience. Because when you're in these situations, it's all the little things that make your world feel so much more full. And when you realize... When you have everything at your fingertips, it feels like you have nothing. And it's only when you don't have it that you realize how much it meant. Well, that's what this game is about in more ways than one. But if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. Uh, also, you can wishlist the remake um, on Steam. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.